Wayne Keith and we'll talk about uh, vehicle gasification. We've got a, a rig here that runs off of uh, wood or any other type of uh, biomass and we'll explain uh, gasification to you. Gasification is a process where you burn wood or biomass in an oxygen restricted environment. The product of burning biomass in the oxygen restricted environment will be uh, carbon dioxide and water vapor. Then if you can take those products up to somewhere between two and three thousand degrees you'll get a thermal chemical reaction that'll turn it into hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane. Not as potent as gasoline Usually when it's put into a vehicle, you have about a 25 or 30 percent decrease in power, but test has shown it's 37 percent more efficient than uh, gasoline is. Okay, this is the fuel hopper in this location here. This is the top door on it. We open the door, put the wood in, in here, and this is the storage of it down in this compartment is the uh, heart of the gasifier. The fuel has to heat up between two and three thousand degrees down in this area and we'll, it'll go through a, a process called uh, a pyroglyphic distillation. It's a thermal chemical event once it gets to that uh, temperature uh, this gas will change over into hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane and that takes place right in this area right here and then it comes through some pipes over in this compartment here that is a, a heat exchanger and drop box as I call it. Uh, the velocity of the gas coming through here is fairly fast in relation to this so the gases slow up some so that any heavier than air particles will, will sink to the bottom here and they can be taken out at, uh, down uh, below. And the gas travels on up to the top of this compartment and it comes out into rails at the uh, right behind the cab and this is a cooling uh, rack and you can see on each side the cooling rack the gases go through this cooling rack and they'll drop down to near ambient temperature and get down near the dew point and the moisture will start dropping out of the gas and it comes on down underneath the truck and goes in a tank underneath for uh, storage and it has to be drained uh, every five or six maybe seven hundred miles drain this condensation out okay after the gases go through the tank it cools on down even more and is piped back underneath the truck and comes up in this uh, uh, third drum on the left hand side of the truck which is uh, uh, filled with hay the gases migrate up through the hay dropping off any uh, soot particles in the hay and there's also condensation that is adhering to the hay in there and whenever you shut the truck off the condensation will start draining back down and at the same time is washing the hay down and it'll form water at the bottom that'll be drained off uh, uh, occasionally and it kind of works as a self-cleaning filter with the condensation draining back down to wash the, the soot back down. After it comes out of this container it goes through some tubing and up to the motor and and at this point it is still a, a dead gas. It don't contain any oxygen so it can't burn until it is mixed with oxygen. Uh, this illustrates the gas coming from the gas of fire. We've got two inch PVC here we've got two inch PVC over here and it goes into this filter housing that serves as a, a mixing bowl for the gas and the air. The fresh air is coming through these flex hoses on each side of the breather. The small homemade valves on each one of these lines. The, the proper air ratio mixture on this with wood gas is about a one to one ratio. We need to have about as much fresh air mixed with about the same quantity of gas. Uh, I've been asked what all we can uh, burn and I, I usually say there's three things I know we can't and that's rocks, 
metal and glass. I've tried just about every other thing, uh, corn, corn stalks, cotton stalks, pivot hedge, all different types of wood, a uh, chicken litter, uh, cow manure, and I tell people you get caught in a pinch of dead cow to get you six or eight miles. It's driveonwood.com. There's all type of uh, plans, there's free plans on there, all type of reading material. It's uh, pictures, videos, everything to do with wood gas, building wood gas, history of wood gas, uh, everything about it. You can find it on driveonwood.com.